I think to accept a student, a person has to realize there's right, there's wrong, and there's different. My name is Barbara Guest. When I first graduated from college, I taught in Bloomfield Hills, and then I applied for a job overseas, and I got one in the Cook Islands, which is an island group west of Tahiti in the South Pacific. With teenagers, there has to be a little bit of peer pressure, like in some of the cultures I lived in, while there was diversity, there were certain ethnic or religious groups that were such a minority, they honestly were overlooked or picked on. But when you have a diverse group where each group is represented by enough people that they feel like there's safety in numbers, then you get working together. Well, it can be very cliquish when you have people from diverse backgrounds. Sometimes in order to get kids to mix, it might even have to be artificial at first, prompted by the administration or teachers. Like here at the IA, I see teachers doing a lot of activities where the kids have to work in groups and the teacher forms the groups. And so then when you're sitting in a group with a person you probably would have never sat to have lunch with, but you're listening to their opinions, you start to like the person because you're, you're forced at first to listen to their ideas and then you realize, well, oh, they're kind of interesting even though they're way different than me. So in order to accept people, I think you have to listen to their ideas, sometimes admit it's different but okay, and sometimes be able to say that's wrong but I respect your right to do it. My name is Brian Quigley. I was born in Limerick, Ireland. My mom was born and raised in Ireland, so she's 100% Irish. And my dad was studying abroad. He was born in America, and that's when they met each other there. While they got married eventually, and they were living in Ireland. And while they were living there, that's when I was born. Well, I feel it's probably just because there's just so many cultures here that I just feel like the environment here is very trusting and people do respect each other. I think there's just kind of just a mutual understanding between the people, like between what's okay and what's not okay and people don't really cross those lines, so there is plenty of respect. I think internationalism means the ability to appreciate other nations. Now, I started out immediately after college going into the Peace Corps in West Africa in a country called Mauritania. And shortly after that, I did my first job in Venezuela in South America. And I've also lived in Egypt and most recently in Turkey. I think that oftentimes misunderstandings arise between cultures because of a lack of understanding of the context from which the two groups approach different issues. I do think that the, the fundamental ethos of our school around the International Baccalaureate program helps to transcend all of these differences because whether you're German or whether you're Syrian or whatever, whatever background you're from, the idea of the International Baccalaureate, the, the kind of the ethos of the, the IB is that other people with their differences can be right. My name is Katherine Liu. My ethnic background is Chinese because both of my parents are from mainland China. My mom grew up in a rural village called Xi'an and my dad grew up in a city called Changchun in northeastern China. The elementary school I went to, I believe I was like the only Asian there. I didn't realize that I was different from everyone else, I guess, physically, and it wasn't really especially when I was that young. If you are too narrow-minded and you're just focused on your own style of living and you don't accept other possibilities, then you will not get along with other people who think differently from you. I think to accept a student, a person has to realize there's right, there's wrong, and there's different. I think that the school is really built around that idea. I think we're all 
kind of focused teachers and students are focused towards trying to build a better understanding of that ideal and I think it works. Thank you.